Office Hits. Showtime exclusives. Here you see them, there you don't. Call now and you can have 13 weeks of the Wall Street Journal and this valuable 120-page Guide to Understanding Money and Markets. That's 13 weeks of the journal for the news and ideas you need every business day. And this guide free, which tells you everything you want to know about money and markets. Now for only $34. Call toll-free 800-841-0300. Today's Wall Street Journal. Faster, tougher, smarter. Call 800-841-0300 now. The left eye is nearly closed, and there is a cut as well. Thornton in the blue, Negron in the dark trunks. We begin round number five. Negron was warned about the butt rule. Well, you know, normally if a fighter's butted accidentally and he's winning the fight, they'll go to the scorecards. A fair thing, I think, especially with an accident. Uh, he's butted on purpose and the referee doesn't pick it up. In this case, uh, again, he would lose the fight, the better fighter, and that's just, it's not fair. And in this case, we can't be completely sure, but they're both leading the head. is a golfer. He'll play anywhere. Golf Digest magazine helps his game anywhere he plays with instructional articles from top pros. So wherever you play, play better with Golf Digest. Get a full year of Golf Digest for $16.77. Call 800-841-0300 now and get our free half-hour instructional video with your paid subscription. Call 800-841-0300 now. Georgie Benton wrapping the hands of Beldrick Taylor, the IBF junior welterweight champion. He'll be fighting in a non-title bout in his hometown. It's a homecoming for Beldrick Taylor against Rocky Balboa. That's our main event. But a story brewing here as we start round number six. Tony Thornton in the blue against Ismael Negron in the dark trunks. Thornton has been pretty much dominating this fight through five rounds, but he has a severe cut over his left eye. It'll be interesting to see how he comes out now. He used a lot of energy trying to get Negron out in the last round. 
And if you look in the, in the clinches closely, Thornton is the one leading with his head, and Negron got a little aggravated with it. Looked like an intentional butt back. Eddie Aliano in the corner of Tony Thornton worked on that cut in between rounds, trying to stop the bleeding. Scheduled for 10 in the middleweight division. all that great either. I haven't gotten a good look at it, but I know he's wiping that left hand off the line. One minute gone by in round number six. Corner seems to be dealing with the cut pretty well. He came out, he, he threw caution to the wing, took a, he took a shot. He may feel right now that he's got a little momentum, but he mostly may have to rest from that onslaught. And uh, again, on the infighting you watch, Tony tucks his head in, and it winds up in the nose and eyes of his middle grown. Unfortunately, it may have been caused by a butt, but he may have accidentally initiated that butt. And the point we raised at the beginning, does Thornton have enough to put a man away anymore? And now that question is you know, really out there. Rounds two and rounds five, he had to grow in big trouble, but couldn't finish him off. He really had him badly hurt in round two. I'm surprised he made round five as bad as he was hurt. The eye, again, spurred him on, made him work a little harder, so we'll see what happens. And we're up to your picturesque eyebrows and mail. Welcome back to Philadelphia. Bob Papa along with Bobby Chaz. And the fight has been stopped between rounds six and seven. Tony Thornton sitting on his stool. Ismael Negron congratulating him. Thornton having the fight stopped. You see them working on his left eye. Apparently damaged in a butt early in the fight. And the ringside physician said, that is enough. Well, I overheard the doctor in the corner. He said, now there's two cuts in there. And he was talking about possibly going to the hospital. And he really didn't want to let the fight continue. And he decided that his health was more important than this fight. Okay. Good. Good. Can you open the left one at all? And yeah. Tony Thornton, a very big loss. He wanted to get back on the title track and stopped at the end of round number six. I can see you. Because of a bad cut of the left eye. You're going to have to go to the emergency room because I've got a, I want a good class. And Ismail Negron well, hasn't we'll fought around. in nearly two years, but he gets a win. November 20th is this man's lucky date. His last win was November 20th of 1987, and he gets one on November 20th of 1989. Well, again, with, you know, this butt rule is, is something that is necess it's a necessity. You have to have it. Butts are accidental. They have to, uh, you know, be addressed. You can't just say there's no butt rule and a better fighter lose on an accident. Not a fair thing. And according to my scorecard, I had Thornton ahead fairly comfortably, 28 points to 24, losing only the first round by two points and winning round number five by two points. But Tony Thornton, a very disappointing night. He suffers the loss because of a cut to the left eye. Ismael Negron, the winner. We'll be back with more after this. That's a face! Yes, it's that fabulous, funny face.